everybody from quite some time I wanted to review this uh, ELM 372 module interface modules I have got two of them one is a USB which is a, which is a USB which I can plug with my laptop and the other one which I order was a, uh, which was order which is a Bluetooth one a Bluetooth will make it easier so if I wanted to connect to my car on um, OD, OBD protocol 2 uh, so I can easily connect it using my mobile phone or a tablet or even my computer so which would help me rather than going a trip to clear any fault of any nuisance sort of fault from my engine from my engine for car engine it, it particularly most of the software you you can easily find the software to do the small small jobs for you but even though if you wanted to buy them they do not cost a lot of a lot a lot at all uh, so today what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna hook it to my computer sorry hook it hook this unit to my car and uh, I'm gonna pair it with my by using my using my mobile phone uh, mobile phone it, it, it will be roughly the same sort of instruction for any mobile phone the important thing in when you do the Bluetooth pairing is the passcode which you always need to remember but this device has got a default pass passcode which is one two three four anyways but when you're able to pair it when you pair it it will also give you an option of either it's got a zeros four zeros passcode or one two three four passcode but what we're gonna do is start with it first of all just to understand it I'm gonna hook it to my hook it to my car hook it to my car and show you what LEDs will come up first I think this is a red LED first come up with is a power LED and after they after that these all other LEDs would be the yellow ones the yellow one represents represent the communication actually so if you do not get the red one that means there is some sort of issue with respect to the power soon after that once the communication is okay you would see all the most of them lights will be flashing and it's not necessary they should be flashing continuously all the way but they will be flashing like in in sort of a way in sort of a, in sort of a simultaneous way so that might be flashing all the time it's not necessary that they will be flashing too it all depends upon what sort of parameter you're looking for what are you looking for what parameter you're looking for so first let me hook it up with the car I'm going to show you how we're going to pair it up with it then I'm going to use a free ODB software which I downloaded from the Google market so which will help you if you wanted to buy something else you know from the market you can you can you're, you're free to go to because my review is only for the for this unit to connect to my car and pair it with my mobile phone at that stage so to buy a new software you can buy it go into the market and find it if you find it yourself and uh, and find it yourself and tell me you know how they are so uh, I can buy them too and uh, see how they can help me to understand my car better so let me hook it up and uh, let's see them okay my car is a BMW 320d so but the O this uh, OBD this OBD interface unit module protocol one I can only put it right here so once I plug it in as you can see this red light is started uh, is turned on steady that means it has been powered so I can ready to I'm ready to pair it up with my laptop oh sorry I'm it was uh, already now so I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth first on my mobile phone just to show you so just as I turn the Bluetooth on so it becomes in a dis discovery mode so what I'm gonna do actually now I have to go into the settings to pair it so it, technically it should be it should be roughly the same so Bluetooth there it is so I'm gonna sh just press the search there you go search this O it searched as an O O B D 2 you press that one and I'll ask you for the enter the pin number the pin number which you're going to use most of the time is common it is it is one two three four you just press it and press the OK button right there and press this OK right there there we go it's, it's, it's coming on top of the list so that means it's ready to work on it so what we're we gonna do now now I have got a free application which I downloaded so I'm gonna go and show you that one that appli the application which I downloaded is a OBD 
E O B D E oh sorry O B D E L M 327 E L M 327 is basically an integrated circuit which uh, which uh, which has got all the coding to do with the cars can network so I'm gonna use that application I, there you go I just started this application now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into that option search option I want to tell him that it, the, I want you to get connected to the OBD2 unit which is on Bluetooth. Here we go. As you see, this is getting connected to it. So once it's connected, we're going to do our job then. So it's connected now. What we're going to do is gonna we're going to start our car engine. There you go, it's all started now. It seems to have some sort of issue in there which it says no S A E J one eight five zero pulse with modulation pulse with modulation sort of thing. So it could be it could be to the, do with the peering of it. As you can see, it's doing a beep beep noise, which is trying to tell me that there is something not right with the with the unit. So what we're gonna do, which I'm gonna try to debug it, what I can find out of it. So the only information is telling me is this one, which is a voltage, is alternator voltage, which is a 14.3. If let me rev it. There you go. After a bit of a struggle, I managed to find it out, connected it. The problem was uh, the pairing issue was there between the Bluetooth and the mobile phone, so I have to restart both of them. So as you can see, it's all communicating with it. It's telling me the temperature of, uh, well, obviously the cool engine, engine temperature. As you see, now I'm, if I rev it, it's acting. There you go. As you can see, it's acting as it's performed, but it's just an example, so you can connect any any paid software with it. It's just a pairing is a very bit of painful sometimes, but uh, once you get a hang of it, uh, it won't be a problem. Once it's paired paired with it, so what, how it's gonna look like? Let's let's have a look at the car. Bonnet. You can see the once it's paired. You will see the lights will be coming up like this. As you can see, they keep on flashing, going upwards, going downwards. I'm sorry for that. Going downwards, yellow ones. So that means it's communicating fine. So that's the sign you're looking for, actually. So please, uh, please let me know. Please let me know how I did, how I did in this video, and I will be looking for, for forward for your feedback. And uh, within uh, in the future, because. Uh, I work on Arduino as well, Arduino. So I'm going to try to make a project where uh, where I'm going to connect uh, this Bluetooth device to my Arduino Bluetooth and uh, try to get every information inside it. And I, if I want, I can save it all information on a flash card, on a memory card, so I can log the information. How did I do? How was engine temperature? How was it doing? And at the same time, I can log all the GPS information too. That's not a problem. So, as you can see that, uh, if you got any comments, please, please do let me know. Uh, I'll be looking forward for your feedback. Obviously, your feedback will improve myself. My, me, I'm sorry. Your feedback would improve my performance and will let me know as well that where I'm doing is something wrong. So, please do let me know. And uh, if you like my video, uh, sorry. If you seen my video, if you liked it, just press the like button. If uh, if you didn't like it, just press the dislike button. It will tell me that if, uh, how many people didn't like it. And please, if you dislike it or like it, please do comment on it. So it will help me improve as well. Thank you very much, and please do subscribe if you look if you're willing if you're looking forward for uh, uh, my other videos as well. Thank you very much for your uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.